flat out. I mean, here we're gonna, we're gonna see, right? We're gonna be proven right, surely. Yeah, they've got to stand in and all of the, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, guys. Are we doing the whole, like, believe in the exception and not the rule? I love it myself, but already zip hands on, so you pretty quickly put two down, put them to bed. Jojo gonna try and pick up the slack, though. Actually tries to make it three. Nice little shut down again from Morception. Because now Xiao and Ardis presented a tough challenge. Artist looking a little like an, a, a lanimal in the making so far. Right, well, it's been nice. This, but Meteor, actually a trade-off of tags there. Xiao's already slipped through. Jojo aware of the possibility. One enemy remains. Come through Meteor, find one. Xiao responds. Actually a possibility to do this with Meteor taking the tag. Mark two. Well, he knows what's up. And what's he do with it? Still needs to land the shots, never easy in the toy and with him 50 seconds. Still more time to play with. Isolates one. And now a 1v1. And Meteor's in danger with this. I'm gonna switch up the frenzy and try and play that spike potentially. Again, Xiao's still sitting pretty. 100 HP. Couldn't ask for a better situation. But every corner could contain threat, but Xiao contains a round. Perfect start for FPX. I mean, brilliant recovery. Initially, yeah. when the spike falls there, perfect opportunity for Northeption to reinforce that hold. But, I mean, not even really hard. This is Xiao to come through with the Red Bull clutch and close this one out. Fantastic start, though. Very proactive from Northeption. You can see here, actually, on the X-ray, just how many bodies they're able to throw at this. They did leave themselves exposed a little bit to the possibility, and Xiao punishes them for it. Get themselves on the board early. I have to see if that trend does continue for North Epson to be proactive. I mean, Jojo, for me, especially in that first series, just looked a little out of it, out of bit position, mm. especially with that breach utility on uh, Bind, I believe it was. It's unable to really get anything done on their defensive half. So I'm curious to see if this does continue and how much success they find with it. Player, obviously, who really garnered a lot of attention, and rightly so, Meteor. Probably the same on the board, but not this round being watched, FPX regimented as always. Again, if you haven't had the treat of being able to see them too much, if maybe you only watched the international stages of competition, you wouldn't have had the pleasure of seeing this team play, but again, get used to that. Quite robust in approach. Don't take many things too lightly. And so far, no real problems found. One more to deal with here, Zenfree himself back up towards tower from the right click actually onto Angel, but not really an upgrade here. He's gonna make the best of it actually. <laughs> Walk back into the paint shell. Japan wisely placing three survive. And those rifles get across as well. Really good opportunity here with Shao actually. This early progress has actually got the ultimate online here for round three. You've got to say Shao especially on that agent has become such a specialist in this. It's garnered attention everywhere. A couple of maps definitely stand out, and we will probably get that treat to kind of look more into it well, soon. Ascent is the yep, tree. That's, that's the, the one. one that, I mean, in EMEA, there was two e examples Where that stood out, really. Soul Gas on Icebox, Absolutely. and the other one was Shao on Ascent. Yeah. So that's something to keep in the back of your minds. A little treat up and coming, but Northeption looking to get on the board. This is a big round, and that's a big start. Meteor can isolate Angel. It was a second layer to this, but Sider thinks better of the matter is already. It's been taken away from them. Good control, garnered over by Dish. This is very one-sided. And another one here. The pinch is coming through from Arcade as well. Zipan very blind. Just Ardis left now. Claim a couple, remove a couple of weapons. It will be a big win for them. Good for the first Ooh. and the second there. Nice clean up. Northeption keeping three alive as well. Started to get all dicey at the end there. Thought maybe Ardis could have cost them a little more. Not to be. Important to note as well, actually, with Xiao's ultimate being online, Jojo does have the Rolling Thunder at barely call it a counter, but something to at least slow down an execution behind that ultimate of Xiao. Ardis one off the Tour de Four, Zipan decent progress towards that showstopper as well very early on. I'm curious to see now, once we get to the buy rounds, if things do slow down for FPX. I mean, the kings of the clock. Careful there. And whether or not Northeption, like I said, continue to go hunting. Bit of emphasis towards A here. It's a four man play towards A main, but just retrieve the orb initially. Nobody on the other side from FBX to greet it, but the Rolling Thunder posted into spawn here. Oh, uh, this could be dicey, but they have to commit on this now. But Mitu going down to kind of slow the roll a little bit. Angel does get pinched. That's huge. Big impact happening. A proactive play making it work. 
Pops up the wall and needs to get out of there for now. Reset the pace a little bit. The spike now left a mile away, but we are into a 2v2. Aldis just coming through. He's going to have the information, at least, that most of B-Site is clear, but Jojo already making his way back through spawn. Could make that problematic. Derry Ali should back away, and he's doing just that. Get himself back towards safety. Curious to see if FPX do react on that information. Yeah, I mean, they're going to stack up here. Jojo... Should have heard at least one of these sound cues. A couple of footsteps. I think that's why we're seeing Derry Alley rotate as well. 35 seconds still gives a little bit of wiggle room. It's not a lot, though. But again, this does sit favorably. Seconds left. In my mind to North Epson right now, at least, if they do keep these bodies on this site. Both one off the alt, though. And Zipan's the one to potentially turn the tides off. Ooh, the Jojo nearly catches. Hardest on the cross, but at least information gathered. 12 seconds now. Right down to the wire. 10 seconds left. Spike can be planted uncontested. There's the utility coming in. There's the ult getting popped. Sends it, gets nothing for it, but at least gets them away to safety for now. Derry Alley going to be at least testing the first steps towards the side. And Zipan trying to watch that cross. Yeah, Flash going to try and at least facilitate a little bit of safety. But actually, they don't know Tim. They don't know Artis. TP away. Now the fight's perfect. FPX, that post plant, just Not gorgeous. Uh, actually, good use of the showstop as well. Just to zone them away from the angle. Allow safe passage back towards tower. Artis finds a crucial kill. From the top of the steps. But can we roll it back to I mean, the start of this round? I was, I was going to say, yeah, this, this is... The sort of thing that you expect to catch FBX off guard. Initially, it looks like they're almost in position to greet it. Xiao trades one back, but Derry Alley actually finds three on the push through. I guess we have the answer to the question on some of the buy rounds. I think North Epson is still going to force the issue. Take the fight to FBX. Okay, what was that previously? It was a four-man stack towards that A-main yeah. control. Retrieve the orb, and they're right out. And it continues. Unrelenting aggression, and it's nice to see. Get to enjoy a glimpse of it with Optic, especially really characterizing what it can do. But Michi now, this is a challenge and he succeeds. Passes the test and backs away. Good impact towards Angel, who's sadly just been on the receiving end of a lot of these sort of shots. Not really had much room in this, but quick rotation. Cider, good positioning. That's a freebie. And he's seen more as well. FPX turning the screws. And he even spotted Zenfri before. So lovely work from Cider, very considered. You see right here, the, the response is there from FPX. The pressure comes through. I'm not even sure actually if they've even got a full picture of what's going on, but straight away find the space in Arcade. Yes, Meteor finds one little bit of cheese, gets out with a shorty, but site control firmly in control of FPX, and they punish from there. Again, North Epson, I, uh, this is where I like the aggression. It's it's a great look. I want to see those kind of structured pieces well, coming in as well. I want to see the depth it's of what they have. Scoreline dependent, though. It, it is. That gets harder and harder to justify once the finances come into question as well. We'll see if the ults don't suit it. I mean, here, uh, cycling perfectly for them, actually. They've got the showstop on the tour of force here. If they did want to get a little aggressive, but I think it will be a deeper hold this time around. You know, I'm just feeling a little bit of pressure early on, and, and rightly so. As we can see, Zenfri has pushed up a little. And this does slow down FPX, but you said it early on, kings of the clock. They're not particularly worried about running the time late. Angel even taking a little sip of the beverage. <laughs> Sliding on over. But feeling the pressure and trying to respond in kind, adjusting towards the other side of A. I mean, it's interesting, this battle for A main coming now, again, with the lack of a breach in FPX's composition, requires a little more investment, a little riskier to at least contest this late. The re-clearance though, Zenfri. The shift walking through. We'll find Ardis. It'll be the, the green light for the smokes to get sent through. Xiao just gonna tuck in for the time being though. Cross is being watched here. 30 seconds left. Now gets denied and away they go. Zip hand towards the side, but there is still players. Danger! And a catch from Angel, who just can't catch a break. And Xiao on the back line, so it's Zipan to deal with it on the site. The spike not to hand. Zipan is putting up numbers for FPX. North Epson get left with two standing. Only Xiao to try and face them down. Spike gathered and nine seconds already, but he's avoided it. Smart play so far from Xiao. He's going to be able to get away. He's got six HP. He gets ripped away from him. As Black Quiz gets there in time. North Epson will get their second. Without the orbital strike there, though. Three full for North Epson. Almost had it. I mean, Zipan 
just off camera, catches another one when... Yeah. Even when it feels like North Epson have got the upper hand in that scenario. Spike down A. So well to find these, but like I said, just stuck in no man's land, just as those smokes drop. Black was able to clean things up. I mean, nearly, Shao nearly crossed his back, and it's an open plant, so... Never know what could happen when exactly. it goes there. Two to four, though. Good timing to find the round on the board. Do see the operator coming out as well for Meteor. And Ardis will have his ult. So, again, decent play, enough fire on either side. Play. Let's see what that pace is looking like. And it's quick once again. It's really, really, I was going to say, if uh, North Epstein adjust what happened in the previous round, which is kind of leaving one side of this site completely open, it's the second example here with Angel finding one onto Black Wiz. Feels a little reckless to try and achieve spike something here. Angel does get noted the spike too. Father's unable to trade. Not even sure that was, that was just a full spam through the wall there as the Viper Wall went up. The Zen has been noted as well. If they can isolate this kill, it's like Zipman's going to retreat. Oh, this doesn't know how close he was. Sider's going to get away with his life. Does take a little chip damage, but you heard the audible go up. Sider going to pop the ult and tuck himself into this. Derry Alley, though, going to make a good attempt to start in this retake off already. Jojo Meteor, oh, now starting to linger around. Perfect shot towards Ardis. And now the problems start to really present for FPX. It's only on Xiao. Grand Reveal finds one spot to another. He knows where they may reside, but can he deal with it in time? Two already in this round. He needs four. The fuse begins. The pressure now there. Xiao needs to go forward. He gets one. Oh, my God. He's got it. The second for Xiao. The fourth in the round and the clutch to complete. What is that? I need the replay on how much was left on that defuse because he left it to the last second. Last Somehow still finds it. I mean, it. Isolates them perfectly. He even avoids the stun coming back in his direction. Oh, wow. I, I don't even know how much was left in that, but there definitely wasn't an awful lot left. It's going to force a timeout from North Epton as well. Because that one felt like a guarantee. Didn't expect to see that going FPX's way. <laughs> I thought maybe one, but the diffuse was going to be there. Like they played that quite nicely, like the post plant. They had numbers. They got rid of cider and his ult. Like I said, they did everything they needed to. And, and then... they were so quick back on. I mean, you can yeah. see with Ardis posting up after that kill comes through onto tower. Ardis is almost posted up. Just thinking the next point of contact has to be coming back through tower. And Meteors has slipped on with a headhunter. Again, Viper's fit placement actually favoring back towards main. The steps a little bit, so. Unfortunate in that regard that Meteor could slip up back behind boxes, but everything went right for him. It's just Shower's still alive, unfortunately. Shower on land. Looks good. I mean, he looked good online. <laughs> it's, like it's, it's almost like he's actually elevating beyond that. He's, he's been an absolute cornerstone for FPX. And he's proving it here as well. Let's have a look See, at this. Just How close diffuse. was it? You're thinking you're, you're away with it. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you can see the reaction. Oh, here. yeah. That's got to be gutting. That's going to take the wind out of your sails. Two to five. It was a very close round. Very, very close oh, round. You. See the way it's crumbled. Let's have Jim back down to scraps on this purchase. Two shorties. Meteor the Fiend previously did find some. I don't know if he's going to have any company in A main, though. Like I said, don't expect FPX to be forcing the issue towards that. Like I said, these late clearances as well back into A main, increasingly difficult. Teleport's ready. Uh, I see Cider creeping through, actually. Yeah. Not really feeling any pressure on the other side of it. This might be the, the one condition that FPX do want to force the issue Face with. your fear! Oh, all invested as well. Does cleanly at least get Spikes going solo. Though. That's no what's made me a little worried. Meteor has had to back towards site. Still unreally noted. Might have been spotted there, but still going to claim Cider. Can't get much more as Artist trades it out from the site. And now Spike should be able to go down. We can see if anything's going to deny it. That certainly could. I mean, I'm confused. I mean, Derry Alley's got himself a weapon back and will actually be able to get the backside of the rolling danger. Shouts in real danger. This is looking really worrying right now. The spike now lost.
and it's on Artis, and it's on Angel to do something miraculous. Dariel is tearing this one back into North Eption's favor, and they needed it. And right now, FPX might need Angel, but the double swing is wow. not going to allow it. Perfect play back in from North Eption. A fantastic thrifty round, making... I, I didn't think they were going to be able to close the gap and get behind that Rolling Thunder quick enough, but Dariali absolutely proving me wrong. Comes through, and it's, uh, you're almost questioning there where Shao's got the spike solo, but manages to figure out exactly where Meteor's playing. The TP back to site isn't initially punished. Mm. They find Sider on the back of that with a headhunter. Wow. That one really flipped on its head. I mean, Angel even sure. panic TPs out because I, I guess Most it doesn't feel like it's going the way they thought it would. Mm. Most down. Three to five. Well, big swing back on this actually because you look at <laughs> the money's certainly rough now. I feel as though the FPX we've had way more stable money, but again, these rounds have been quite back and forth to a degree. A couple of clutches defining it. So not clear cut, even though the scoreline making it look a little bit more favorable to FPX than maybe you'd expect. But again, here comes that aggression. Surely noted by now, it is still going to claim the life of Zipan. Gary Hell is still happy to just turn and aggress and keep finding ways forward. I see Jojo set up for <laughs> shot. <laughs> Finds Angel on the cross there. The second tap. Xiao has a opportunity here. Artis oh, actually going to find two kills here. Zen Free and Dariali. Read it. Oh, I thought he did. I thought he read that there was a chance that Jojo would have been up there. Something a little uncomfortable now. I'm not sure they even even noted it. I mean, they will do now. Jojo does eventually shut down Artis. Cider coming late through. Well, actually pick up a Vandal, but last one left now. Finds himself on a 1v3. Finds the first. Nothing else to do here, though. Damage done. Yeah, with that thrifty round, though. Definitely the secondary objective here. North Epson bring it within one. Touching distance now. This is a lovely turn of events. North Epson really starting to dig their heels into this game and something we needed to see. We need to see them stabilize here, and they've done exactly that now. Two back-to-back. -back. North Epson. FPX so. not really finding much of a cure to this. Unable to really identify what they need to do just yet, but maybe there'll be a plan in mind soon enough. Sorry, I just saw the headshot Jojo found on nah, 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 Yeah, nah, Unacceptable. Nah, <laughs> that nah, was nah, pretty nah, crispy. Nah. And even there, if Ardis is able to stay up with that Vandal, slow things down a little more, allow Sider to come through, retrieve that weapon as well. Unfortunately, he gets picked off, but credit to Jojo. We're going to see another fault line through to at least take a little bit of control towards Arcade. This time around, the smoke's there. Better consideration. Artist might even catch Meteor on the underpass. Yeah, he does. A little scout. overzealous yeah. from Meteor. A little eager to follow through on that. Again, that will have to pull a rotation potentially away from A now. With the utility committed, he hasn't drifted that far, but Zipan's going to get towards Sight. Alt's in hand. And Sight's clear. We already know where they are, but Artist is just running rampant in the back lines. A problem to try and handle this point. Zipan, clean enough. Joined by Sider in that to find Dariali. And again, clean work coming out until now. Let's see if Jojo hits any more of those rather dirty headshots. Or even just opt to back away here. Seeing the 1v4. Decent hold here for FPX, so why is it done? Maybe just try and look for an exit towards bridge. Yeah, interesting to see. I mean, if North Epson don't really feel any pressure behind this smoke, I'm not sure why Meteor's so eager especially solo to just come through towards underpass and uh, desperately look for that open up Are they coming see back actually zipan's considering the, the possibility of yeah. trying to police that operator <laughs> really <laughs> actually will well find done. it heads yeah. up play from zipan just to punish a little further as well very nice okay it's, it's quite interesting to watch these rounds because it feels quite unique in the aspect of when north Epsom win looks quite clear cut when fbx win looks quite clear cut both of them seem to be able to achieve Quite clean rounds now. Stringing it together. This was artist kind of so lurking cool. away. Yeah. I mean, just a menace in the back right there. Finding the second as well. Like I said, just a little overstep from Meteor. Previously, this aggression has looked way better invested. A couple more behind him. If you want to play, Speaking let's of invested, play. Five members of FPX towards Bridge here initially. And the pressure towards Dish. Meteor does have... A much deeper angle here, but he's going to be spotted out here. Shout. 
Oz is done, and I think FPX now will flip the switch. Yeah, that's, that's a big information find. Artist in the meantime gets body by Jojo. Jojo looking different than when we first saw him. Uh, absolutely, a, a stark contrast to, day, uh, to game one. Yeah. yeah, night and day performance really elevating what he's doing here. Not just mechanically, but his utility as well. Been on point. You've been, you've been seeing set up most of these early up. pushes for North Eption on both sides of the map. Yeah, great to see that course correction here. Speaking of, to get things started once again, no, no, Black no. is going to capitalize off the utility invested from Jojo. Get himself out of that. Again. Bringing this into such a favorable scenario, a 5v3 now. Launching smoke. If any further damage can be done, the paranoia is sent through. Force Black with backside, they're able to greet her on the other side. Really nice pinch towards it. It's given them a little bit of room. 24 seconds, though, it's getting down oh, to the not wire. Comfortable, though. No, it's not. And already, Derry Alley, look at him. Flanking back through B main. This doesn't look like it's considered right now. Spike planted. Okay, spike down. Post plant. 4v3. And there it is. Derry Alley already gonna just tear <laughs> on in. And oh, maybe just a judge to close it. Not to be. Side and out. Too much of a challenge. Lovely playback through from North Eption. I'm sure I don't even think the initial stun was noted there. Angel completely blindsided from that B main flank. Yeah, that's nice. play this time around from North Eption. Feels a little more tame. Again, they get what they want out of that one. FBX has to get a cool timeout just before round 12 starts. Angel just backs out into line of sight. <laughs> Derry Alley with the drive by to find the second as well. Nice! 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 An artist actually op opting to pick up the operator here. An opportunity once again for North Eption to get proactive. Showstopper online, tour the fourth, and an orbital strike. Decent position. I mean, going to be able to get as close to a full buy as possible for the last round. Interesting. I mean, I'm happy to see this trend is continue, especially on the defensive half here. It gives you a a, a good indicator, I think, of how North Eption are going to approach the second half. A little bit of pace. FBX really need to embrace that. Well, be the kings of the clock, honestly. Yeah, it's not like it doesn't necessarily suit them, but I have <clears throat> enjoyed watching what Derry Alley can do, um, facilitated by Jojo, kind of everyone in on it as well. It's, it's been actually really nice to see another couple of players make the most of Neon, really, and kind of showing what that agent can achieve. And again, not even just in on, on certain sides, but across this map specifically. It's really quite nice. So we dive back in. Final round of the first half. Could tie it all up. Oh, I think could take a bit of a lead. Artist this time gonna reign supreme. Takes down Meteor. And they don't really get to see too much action. Potentially a similar scenario once again with this aggression towards Arcade. Meteor gives away the opener, allows passage towards site. FBX, I mean, they don't opt to follow through this time around. It's just Zen Free now on B site. They do have bridge control. FBX going to creep, creep back towards A here. And they do have the Viper's Pit, so. That's your artist able to avoid that. Boombot could be key. Might be able to find Zen Free on the cross here. I think he definitely will. Yeah, there it is. That backline play from Artis being such a nuisance, a huge problem. Welcome as Black is now on the side, feeling very alone. So overwhelmed, but Deriali again. This guy doesn't know what he's done. If that's everything he's got, he's got a fight on his hands, and he's still putting up numbers. Three this round, but he needs five. 35 seconds. 10 HP as well. Surely not. 30 seconds left. He's done a run up, but you can already see it. Zipan seemingly all too aware. Really set up for this. Doriali trying to go around the world for it, but he finds this first one here. Ah, Zipan going to find it. FBX will close out 7-5. Unfortunately, again, some of these considerations on this early round aggression. I mean, Meteor just can't give away that kill. Talk about a number of times where it's not, the full picture isn't considered. Yeah, a lot to go through and a little glimpse of the first half as to what's to come in this series, so we'll pass it back to the desk.
7-5 in favor of FPX there. But, you know, got to say, I, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing, Mimi, out of this North Eption team. Uh, Dariali has kind of been a bit of a question mark for all of us here, especially on the Neon. But it's been, you know, it's been hit or miss. Pretty yeah. solid. But he has showed up in this particular matchup. And it has been incredible. You compare statistics from the game versus Ursha to this one. Uh, I'm not very good at math. Big number, better player. He has improved in large part. And I think it, on top of just being good individually, he is really the win condition in the early round. Those opening gambits fighting for space forward, that is all him on the Neon. Yeah. But the thing is, when they turn down the pace a little, when it's the contact pushes forward, it's also Dariali. And he was stepping up to the plate. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this guy is going to be a centerpiece, honestly, of the fracture attack side, which is going to be what they're moving into on the ne uh, on the next half of things when they're swapped around. And I've got a big question is, is are FBX going to be able to adapt and actually deal with this Neon? They played against DRX recently. They struggled. They only got three rounds on the defensive side when they were playing Fracture most recently. And I know regionally they are a fantastic team. I've studied them. I've, I've, I've bloody played their comp on Fracture as well. We stole <laughs> that as well in our league. So I, I know it inside and out. I mean, they've made some alterations to it, obviously, because they're playing with a sub. And that's exactly the point you need to hammer home. They are still playing with a sub. It's going to be difficult to get that same level of synergy, but they have had some time to adapt and learn from their mistakes. Sure. FBX, the question is, is this seven rounds enough for them now, given what we've seen from them versus the, versus the game in DRX? And it's a great question as well, because North Eption trends better on the attacking side of this map. The way they play with that double duelist, their executes are incredible. Most of the time, teams are forced to concede space, so I'm really looking on the side of FPX to be able to give that space and push back in with their fade raise combo. We didn't get to see a whole ton of it on the attacking side, mostly just the post plants are using yeah. those cats for your fade, but on the defense, those opening gamuts shutting down the early round plays that Norception gives you, again, is everything. Yeah, well, so far, this has been a fine amuse bouche, but now it's time to jump into the full <laughs> course <laughs> for map one. Let's hit it back over to Pansy and High Pot. And, and I think the guys on the desk said it really well, though. This is now crunch time because we get to see that neon on that attacking side, right? We get to see it really commanding the pace and it kind of becomes what it's meant to be, this trendsetter almost, and it kind of really echoes through the game. So then, Already noting that Derielli has been having an absolute blinder of a half coming in, already looking good on the defensive side. Mike, if we note it, and we are the simpletons, obviously, FPX well aware of what they're now up against. Yeah, for sure. I, I think FPX's ability to slow down or at least absorb some of these quick hits from North Epson are going to be key. Um, unfortunately, I mean, it goes without saying. So get to is a key part of that in terms of the play style of FPX mm. and being that very, very robust back line, or even sometimes front line on defense where he's happy to dip his toes a little bit. I mean, Sider's got big shoes to fill. Yes, we talked about the adjustments they've had to make. I mean, individually, Sider's come up pretty big. Uh, you haven't really seen FPX relying too much on him really shining as they do Sugetsu sometimes. Of course. But they've been perfectly serviceable so far. This I, is a tall order though. Yeah, no, I, I think the way you categorize it is, is really quite poignant. Very serviceable. He's He's been fulfilling the role. You don't get the shine of what you get with Sugetsu, which obviously most of us now know. Or well, the lunacy of Sugetsu. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it, it, it does go out the uh, normal realms, but that's what they're now fighting for is a chance to get him into that roster. Right, we all know it now. That news did break pretty recently that there's a chance he could be back with boys if I mean men pass this game. mentally for FBI we haven't even touched on this actually getting that news today actually for them it, it, it can be a bit of a calming factor right yeah. knowing we just have to get through this well well seems that we are underway with a bounding star Darielle is off and about no time wasted frenzy to hand as well and bye bye <laughs> well <laughs> with open arms hello that's perfect though that's a really good response to Epson, not just depending oh, on no. one element Cider getting caught completely in the open. Angel, what? Where are, the, where are they getting these kills from, Mike? I, I mean, I don't particularly like this pistol round. Teleport Cider point. actually missing out. Angel should be caught here. Well, actually, the last one from the headhunter comes through, but Angel down to 56 HP. Still doable here, but Xiao's already got ahead towards Canteen. One enemy remaining. Angel's gone down. This is nice from Meteor. Jojo spotted, this is hard for Xiao, tucked in the corner though, gets one, 26 HP, but the time starting to tick, he's got to get a move on now. Wait and see if Jojo would dare take a glimpse, he doesn't, rightly so, Jojo now playing that time, and... I don't think he's got it, no. Surely Locked not. Ready, yeah. Xiao nearly closes out a second pistol round for himself, but... Gave it a try. A little off. I mean, the aftershock being the defining factor, but what a strange pistol round. I mean, initially the first kill, an absolute freebie for Ardis. I mean, two in quick response here. 
Meteor comes through and finds that one, and Sida, unfortunately, not holding contact on main. They pass through the Poison Orb and the Snake Bite as well. Doing a ton of damage. Should have been two easy kills for Sida to line up. See if Northeption can tie it up here. Only two Sheriffs thrown in. We'll see the Headhunter and the Light Arm of Radis. At least a, a moment here where there's no contact, but North Epton are forcing their way through Dish pretty quickly. These two early probes sent forward. But Spike actually making its way back across bridge. There. North Epton waiting for an opportunity or at least an indicator of where they want to push. Here. Yeah, a moment of calm before the storm, it feels like, in this game. The scenes from these two teams has been pretty explosive. This round shouldn't particularly be a problem, though, as we can note FPX's purchase. Again, North Epson taking no chances, though. Stacked up. Should be able to be clear enough in this one. Side is a little outgunned here. Yeah, just a little mm. bit, but I mean, if they contact through towards site, you might be able to backstab They'll here. check this, right? They'll check, they'll Surely, definitely check right? this. They'll definitely check there. They checked yeah. it. That's really good. Nice. Uh, Meteor, <laughs> gonna find him in the end. Got a little nervous, but no problems at all. Derry Alley, just as said, running into Angel. Um, again, I will keep saying it shouldn't be a problem because it really shouldn't, unless Ardis gets a little. Interesting, 14 HP, but a quick rebuttal from Meteor. Slipped in behind this as well. Should be able to find this kill with the Stinger pretty easily. On to shout. One enemy remaining. I spoke too soon. Stanger left to find though, 12 HP. <laughs> the Molly down, slowing things even further. I doubt he's going to find another kill here in this scenario. Should be well held. Got a little chaotic, but mostly kept in hand. Jojo the one to find Angel in the end, and we are back all even. Good start here for Nathepshin. Very cautious on approaching this anti-eco as well. Very Just much so. Curious as to guess whether or not yeah. FPX are going to be the, the aggressors in this round. It's <laughs> the fifth man of the push to come through and clear yep. behind the box. Unfortunately, now, I mean, because if, like I said, if they do just look to contact onto site, nobody going towards tower. I mean, initially it was Enfrey on the Stinger. You think, yeah, he's going to double satchel in, try and clear through, make use of that Stinger, but... Well, that's been as five, stacked up. Send the fault line through Dish. It's a pacey hit here, but Derry Alley shut down here. Zipan playing distance with the Vandal. FPX should back away now. Wait for the second wave. You're right. That's a that's actually huge, yeah, for the orb to be retrieved here. Meteor gets the tool to force on a massive upgrade from that marshal. Could change the dynamic of the outcome Absolutely. of this round. Let's see though, Ard is still posted quite far forward. He does have someone jump spotting for him as well. Just noting that spike. Heading on over. It still looks like B is that ultimate end goal here, but you can see the stack as well. Three players, and that's contact. That's a lot of information, and that's a lot of bodies now. That's strewn on the floor. Unless Meteor could do something miraculous. As FPX, keeping composed. Clean as well, four survive. Going to be Zipan losing out on a rifle. Does have that showstopper online already. And that's it, I think in the first half he had a showstopper online pretty quick, maybe round yeah, three or four the first time around. Continuing that here. Lines up two beautiful headshots here onto Jojo and Blackwiz. This is the one. That's a good spot. You've got your eyes on here for how North Epson approach this. You can hear them actually getting a little animated over up. on the stage here. It's good to hear. Hopefully. Be a couple of fans around here soon as well. Get it. Nice to hear them too. 3 2 split towards B. Ardis has to peel away, but Sider going to pick up the mantle. 
to be posting any second now. Cider does at least get around the corner, but the pressure's felt, and it's responding in, in kind. Cider does actually go down to the molly. There's Derry Alley to go towards the side. I thought he had two, but it was only one. And it's Meteor to strike from the other side. As now a 2v2. Jojo and Meteor up against Xiao and Zipan. Got to make use of these smokes whilst they're up. Xiao's going to have a decent angle once they do drop. Actually not noted here, the showstopper going to be posted on. Oh, actually does go on and finds Jojo. That's a spike noted. He just got... Oh, what? Oh, Zipan! What? Oh, the over the top. Finds the headshot, will retrieve the operator. A little bit of heroics here with the showstopper sent through. But a beautiful follow-up with the satchel. But but let's be honest now, everyone's like, oh, they're a thinking man's team. And, and they are, right? The, the core structure remaining. of what makes Five FPX down. great is that composure, is that capability. But then you look at the players on this roster, and if you're going to doubt the likes of Zipan or Ardis or any of them to have that pop-off potential, those heater rounds, you, you haven't watched enough FPX. And now it's 9-7. to seven. A critical round that was converted because it should be the gateway into potentially 10 now, looking at the money. Woo! Hello, it's quite a quick start. Uh, Angel swings the door, gonna find two, but the trade comes in, make it a three for one. Xiao nullifying Zenfree. And double digits beckoning for FPX. They could not ask for a better start on map one. One enemy remaining. Spike, Spike now drop. This feels. A formality. Yeah, Meteor just left ready. now. A headhunter and a stinger in hand. You can do any damage, but there's already a bit of a buffer here for the finances of FPX. Going to want to try and protect that operator as best they can as well. Are oh, this playing outside B main? Let's see what Meteor can get done. I'll look to clear through here. He you actually caught line of sight on anybody. It's going to be Cider to shut it down. You're That's absolutely right. Someone gives them 10, but the next one all important. So it'll put Northampton back. Yes, the ultimates are coming online now. They have a couple mm -hmm. of things to offset this. Meteor almost back on the second tour de force as well. But show stop and rolling thunder here. Derry Alley and Black who is one off. A couple of things here, even if they do lose out. Some tools to invest in the next. You can see here FBX sitting pretty. Even with Angel forcing up almost on Shout to dropping one out here just to spread the funds a little bit. Yep. And I do want to see if there's pace to this as well. Northeption actually went out quite cleanly on this. Oh, he's going to get spammed through. Derry Ali actually didn't take any damage there. keep his life, yeah. And they're, they're, they're sticking on this aggression. I thought they'd try and back away. They're not. They didn't back down. They stood and they fought and they won. FPX destroying three of Northeption. And it's messy from Black Wiz. And Jojo has to face the music. This is 11 for FPX. And I really didn't expect that start. It's uncharacteristic of FPX as well. Usually they pay so much respect to some of these faster and looser yeah. teams, but happy to send three people out to defend drop. Jojo actually finds a second here. Ah, this will fall. Three left to find. Could make this one interesting, but a spike. A very precarious position now. Zipan and Angel going to tuck themselves in, try and stack up. Should find it here when Jojo drifts out. Double stack. Yep. Taking no chances. FPX looking drilled now. I, I, I'm I, really surprised at that opening fight because I thought, okay, North that's, that's not take the sort of thing you see FPX do. No, honestly. They might take contact with them back if they didn't get the spam that they you know, thought they might have. Fair enough. But this, the commitment on the fight, like not backing at all. Very unlike them. I mean, it just worked out. Are you lucky? Zip and <laughs> the Black Wizard is just like a. Uh, Question mark in chat. Yeah. Uh, you you, you got to hit him with a question mark in yeah. chat after that. Just a little upsetting. <laughs> uh, and and th we, we noted how important that round was. They had the ults. You thought that was everything they'd need in case it got a little bit dicey. Well, now they need them right now. This is do or die for North Epsion. This is their map choice. And Cider is unfazed by this. Unfussed by the ult. The next one comes in. Artist oh, going to find Black Wiz and they're down to now three. Meteor clutching at straws here. Zenfree's going to bail him out a little, but it's all traded. Meteor do. Jojo, similar scenes. Left licking their wounds after that. <sighs> Jojo with the sheriff in hand. Meteor with that tour de force I mentioned previously. Ready. Whether or not you can get anything done here. There's a 2v4. I expect FBX now to just wait things out. Allow this pressure to build and force an overstep. 
This will take arrows. Oh, oh no. But it been it. It's a good trade from JoJo, but... Yeah. Well, unfortunate. And the angle not quite good enough for JoJo. Shao giving it a crack as well, but we can note it. JoJo's options are very, very slim here. They just make a mad run for it, see what he can do. Seconds left. Say, oh, this is actually just gone through at the right time, it. and yet yep. you can see the fault uh, line. We'll be holding this. It's very flat here from North Epson. Um I'm, I'm hoping, I don't know if they have a timeout left. I actually don't know the scenario, but I hope they pull something here because they're, they're running on fumes, it feels like. Yeah, there's not been an awful lot of, uh, of depth or variation in some of these. And, and, and the fact is that FBX are not just kind of willing to, to, to stand and fight, but it's it's how resilient they're, they're being in that. They're, they're happy to almost stack up and play trades in some of these scenarios, which, like I said, it's so unorthodox it's not for FBX. FBX. Yeah. Talk about the thinking man's game, and it's not often you see Angel being the one to dig his heels in with Zipan tucked behind him. No, they're not normally in the trenches like that, just getting down and dirt, doing whatever they need to. It's, it's very unlike them, but... Again, if you looked at that on paper, the compositions coming in, you kind of see the, the brilliance well, I mean, that North Epson has. They had to do something, maybe. You, you didn't think about it then, FBX actually denying a lot of the condition that, that, that North Epson will rely on, right? Which is yep. the freedom to set up in front of sites. You have to set up the, 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 the little utility they have in terms of coordination uh, and get that working. So credit to FBX in that regard of, uh, of ripping that away from them. Yeah, and this is, this is the scary thing for me now, though, is that Fracture, I feel like if you looked at North Epson, this was a good map for them. It's not a bad map for FPX, though. So seeing it now looking like FPX could be converting this, unless North Epson can do something now. The final chance on this map, this is what it comes down to, because I think Ascent is FPX's in my mind. Wait, I thought the VO suited North Epson. That's crazy. We'll come back to that. We'll circle around. We'll see, you know, we'll re revisit it. 7 to 12, Mike. Um, this is the buy. What are you looking for? What can North Epson do? Is there room to work here? I mean, there's not a lot of room to work with in terms of the finances. It's got to be nigh on flawless from here. FBX, some big ultimates, and as is Zipan, the only one missing. The showstopper, two away. FBX have got a lot to invest here to slow things down, and it's a slow approach this time around from North Epson. Maybe the pressure building for them. Now, no room for error. Don't expect FBX to start giving away these openers now. Ardis tucked up here should find a pink. Actually, you've seen on the minimap as they drift away. Northeption anticipating FBX continuing. Some of this early round pressure. A late Viper's Pit popped that will cover the entirety of A site. Actually, doesn't cut off main here, and you can see the ping coming through. It does allow actually Shout and Zipan to have an angle. And North Epson are creeping this way. Late clearance back towards A main. Looks like this is the green light. This is it. Bump's gone hit. It's everything. Let it simmer for a second and they readdress. They readjust. Zipan though already find Derry Alley. That's the tip of the spear. Gone. And a quick follow up though. Maybe there's still life left in them yet. North Epson trying to do whatever they can. A chance. A the lifeline. To be. And you're right. An opportunity. They're catching the rotation. Lovely heads up play from Blackwiz to consider that. You knew the Angel would be chomping on the bit to try and get over that. And you've got to say it, in the darkest hours, North Epson have found a little bit of light here. Needs to be clean for survive. Carry the operator across into this round. Got a couple more of those to whittle away at FPX finances. It's a brilliant start, though. Yeah. Only the orbital strike to work with here for North Epson. Whether or not now, game, actually, well, now whether or not North Epson continues to slow things down, FBX look a little more spread out. It doesn't initially look like they're going to get too proactive. Mm. They are so dead. Well, I, I don't know proactive. You can see that little bit of a deeper hold coming out from Ardis, kind of posted up, set into motion by Xiao's utility, so he can control that map. They can cheat that player then over a little earlier, send Xiao leaning towards that B side, doing whatever he feels, kind of trying to feel out the presence. And we note where North Epson are heading. No big contact made yet. Here. Prepare for hellfire. The strike will clear through. 
That's the Molly to clear up the back side of this though. Angel nice timing. happy to get right inside that lane, Oof. but Jojo gonna shut him down. And they've taken over tower quickly. This is a site locked out. North Epson have taken the site control pretty nicely. It's still precarious and there's gaps here and there. You gotta be careful. Zip pad all oh, through the blind. smoke. Meteor's gonna hold onto that with both hands. Needed it as well. Wants some more. Not gonna get any more for now. Artist next on the chopping block. Gonna force him away. Three of them trying to play this back in. Artis, Cider, and Shao. Where's that chance gonna come from? There's the first. Artis grabs it. Black was with the trade though. And now Artis and Shao, the last two alive. Outnumbered, the time beginning to dwindle. Those chances should be almost shut out now. No one should give them opportunity. No one peeking now. Ooh, and a wayward shot. Actually not looking great. And Ardis... Good damage, though. Still doing work here. It's a 1v2. The time's gone from him. But you're right, damage is there. Which is going to be an issue for North Epson if they aren't careful. Ardis going to go on the hunt. Spots out one takes one. That's massive. That's really big work. That is. It rips away some of the momentum that... Northception require really to build back in. It was five rounds left to find, just three now. FPX will call the timeout. So Northception will be comfortable in the purchase still, but see how things sit for FPX. As he's still got the showstopper online. Angel does have his TP as well. Now that's able to get the operator back in. Yeah, initially a good start. String together a couple here. That's what they needed. Again, it still feels quite knife's edge, but again, how do they get there? I'll take it at this point. And it hasn't really been off the back of Derry Alley that, that much in my mind. He's been uh, there, but not particularly the key stakeholder in this. He's not really been leading the way on some no. of these hits, that's for sure. No. Um, maybe that is just the paranoia of a Neon. You see that utility sure. invested in FPX immediately. They're on red alert, but... North Epson actually able to stall out that first couple of seconds of those sorts of hits and actually come out on top of it. You've seen Angel dip inside that lane, expecting to see potentially two or three people inside it and punish for Jojo it. Jojo just, just stepping in for a second. Ferrari peeks and takes him out. Uh, credit where credit's due. I mean, I was pretty harsh on Jojo in that open, but he's he's been stellar so far. Yeah, a Fracture. completely different player, it looks yeah. like. And it's good to see recovery mid-tournament, right? You come in, you have a slow start. I think Doug was even talking about this, actually, yeah. with North Epson. Uh, on a series-by-series -series basis, that recovery factor was very prominent regionally so it is fantastic to see I mean made me eat my words for sure oh it's always good I mean more than happy to see a player step you know really start stepping up finding their footing and we get to see maybe a little bit of a glimpse of the brilliance so that's always the danger right like let's say we only saw them once maybe they went out there or, you know we didn't get to see them beyond that you would never get to see the brilliance this guy has speaking of it's Zipam with a bang of a start Gets oh. one over steps in towards Black Wiz. A sharp shot for sure, but Angel gonna fill the void. Still gonna hold towards Tower, and the pressure now has to relinquish for even just a second. God, oh, this is position is key though. Might even pick up Meteor on the swing through from underpass. He should find this absolute freebie for him. Jojo's the second in line for oh, Artis oh, finds the second. Absolutely beat. stunning. And now just one remaining. An FPX looking poised. To take us to map two, Ascent, their home ground, and Ardis the one to do it. 13 to 9. North Epson trying to get something going here in the first couple of rounds, a, a real positive actually. It gives you a little bit of hope that they're going to.